times in his rhymes because his memories we run into new york so you know okay guys welcome back to the channel so if you can see here sitting on the bench i have my old water pump and thermostat from my bmw 6 series now the reason i have them on the bench is so you guys get to see the state of them and we're also going to be tearing this water pump down because i want to find out how it actually failed now i know many of you are going to say this is a replacement part anyway so they have to be replaced but for it to be showing a fault code for the pump missing i want to know exactly what went wrong and i think it will be good to do a video tearing these water pumps down because many people simply just don't do them or have never done them they just dispose of the water pump don't tear them down to find out as to why it actually fell you can see on this it was quite bad and oiled up you see there still oiled up this is the old thermostat the old hose and obviously i've replaced that this is the old one we're not really going to tear this down you guys know what it's going to be inside it's going to be thermostat with a spring on it that opens and closes as and when it's needed but the main thing we're going to be focusing on is this water pump so I'm going to go ahead, get the tool and start removing everything and we can find out how it actually fell and what it actually looks like inside. So that's what we're going to get onto first. So to open up the water pump, we're going to need a T25. So we're going to go ahead and open that one up. Just crack off all the little T25 bolts. They're going to be quite stiff from oil build up. We'll just remove them. I know a lot of you are going to say, why am I even bothering doing this? It doesn't matter now, it's been replaced. But obviously, it's always worth checking um, these things and find out why they fail. Um, because you guys never know, some things can be repaired. And me, I'm one of them where I do with all the electronics and things and fix them. I like to be able to repair stuff. So, you know, if I can repair it, I will. And if you can see them bolts are released, here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock that off with a hammer because it's quite seized on. Try and use a pry tool. Try and get it all opened up. You can see it all budging. We'll try a flatted screwdriver in there. Pry it open. Do remember, do not do this with a new water pump. The only reason I'm doing this is because it's an old one and I'm not planning to reuse it. there is now budging just like that it's all budging you can feel it already loosening it's stuck against the o-ring which is in there you can see there it's coming out and the reason this is proving so hard is because you can see there one of the gears and all, all the motor itself in there. And I can see straight away inside there, once I can get this opened up more, you, you can see, looking in it, this had broken off um, from around it. So you can see there, that's where the failure would have been. This cog here that connects onto this shaft had all bits sitting inside here. So this had broken. So that's why we are getting a full code for the speed and the water pump uh, missing because if all the water pump stopped working, uh, this cog was broken. That wasn't from me prying it off before many of you say that because it couldn't come off. That gear wouldn't have broken from hitting it either with a small hammer and spreading it out. That's failed purely just because it's failed. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this one over here because this side is the propeller so we'll see this side now and how bad it is we just crack them off but straight away i can see it was them that failed which you're going to expect it to fail because if someone's run the pump dry um, which is what i tell many of you guys about bleeding it dry um, you will destroy the plastic on the shafts the input shaft where it turns the water pump on the propellers itself. That's why I tell many of you guys not to run these water pumps dry. Now bear in mind, someone had changed the coolant on this uh, car and put the wrong one in. So 
that would have been one cause for it to fail anyway. Uh, someone decided to go and put Presto. Now, I do not ever, ever recommend Presto because this is what it does to these water pumps. It will destroy them. Um, but some people just don't learn. People just seem to think they can put in whatever they want. Same way they put a cheap, cheapo battery in the car as well and neglected it. Um, that's what you get here a lot of the time where people don't understand these cars. We'll just remove that last torque screw. And now we've got to try and work this one off now. We'll try and pry this one off as well, if we can get it down there, so you guys can see. And you can probably see, you have to tap it quite hard to get it separated. the seal and there is door pump now if many of you guys can see here this is just like your ordinary uh, mechanical water pump that you'd find on your m54 um, and things like that that you put in it's just like a mechanical water pump this part so this part is motorized and then you have your plug which plugs in and a dme controls the speed of um, the water pump at what speed it needs to go and everything else, but this side is all mechanical. You can see the O-ring on it. Obviously, if you needed to replace the O-ring, you could. This part's easy enough to come off. Like I said, this part is all fine. You guys can see here, uh, but you can feel it doesn't spin freely um, at all, which, you know, isn't good. It's quite stiff as well, so it isn't moving the way it should be. Uh, the other one moved really, really nicely. This one doesn't, but as I said, from opening it up, you can see here as well all the plastic where it's seized and broken um, in there. Try and take some of it out, but you can't. It's just completely broke off. That's what sits onto the shaft, like I said, and it was completely crumbled in there as soon as we took it out. And that, like I said, that wasn't from us removing it. That was just where it had been knackered. So that's the inside of a M52 water pump. You got your basically mechanical side of the water pump. Then you've got your motorized side, which is controlled by the DME. Same for the thermostat, it's all controlled by the DME when it wants to open and at what speed it needs to run. That way it puts less strain on the car. Because you guys got to remember, the M52 had a mechanical water pump and the belt controlled the speed of it. It would uh, rob you of power as well, because obviously anything connected to the auxiliary belt, same when you put the AC on, um, puts strain on the engine, which then cause you a loss of power. So electric water pumps are a good design by BMW. I know many of you guys hate them, but in the same sense, they do work as intended. And obviously as time's gone on, they've got a lot better, better companies have made better ones, but obviously they are gonna fail. You can see here that was plastic. So that was guaranteed to fail being plastic on this. That's just like anything, even roof motors on the six series. You put plastic cogs, trying to drive towards uh, metal on top of the roof to close it they break and then that's why you need to upgrade them. Same with the seats on the E60. Anything that, you know, you put in plastic towards metal input shaft, it's guaranteed to fail. Many of you are gonna ask if you can replace them. I haven't seen a replacement for them anywhere. Um, and to be honest, the price you'll probably spend and the time and effort replacing that cog, you can just buy a new water pump. But that's how the inside of a M52 water pump looks. Obviously it has been torn down. Obviously this will now go in the bin because I've got no need for it. But it's something I wanted to do on video. You can see the housing, nothing wrong with the other side of the housing. This is where the, um, obviously the coolant comes in and then it's pushed up to the engine. That's, the, that's actually the water pump area. Nothing comes along here. This just basically turns this input shaft to turn. That's over the water pump. So no coolant enters this side, the motorized side, only this side and it will just go wherever it needs to from the engine and back up into the radiator. But that's it guys, that's how you tear down the old um, BMW M52 water pumps. And like I said, 
do not try and do this on a new one and try and you can repair it because that's simply not the case. Um, I thought I'd do this video just so you guys get to see how the M52 water pump looks when it's actually torn down. Thank you very much for watching guys. BMW Dr. Dean here and goodbye.